Good morning, friends. It's Sammy welcoming you back to another episode of The Daily Dash. That's right. It's everything you need to know from around the world and in my life straight from my car dashboard to yours. Obviously, we're not on the car dashboard today. I'm in the house because my husband took the van, but that's okay. It's Monday, November 3rd, 2014. Happy November. It's my favorite time of year. I'm so excited, but I'm also in disbelief that two months from now, it's going to be 2015. So we're going to stay present in the moment. Uh, lots to get to today. Speaking of top news story, Brittany Maynard, the 29-year-old that uh, I guess had a video go viral when she revealed that she was diagnosed with terminal brain cancer and was going to move to Oregon to end her own life on her own terms and in her own timing, um, did just that this weekend. So was surrounded by her loved ones and Again, can never imagine what that's like, but just praying for them. Uh, Another tragedy, Virgin Galactic had their commercial spaceship uh, basically explode this weekend, killing the co-pilots. The pilot is in critical condition in the hospital. Obviously a major setback for them, uh, but I love when people just kind of push push the bounds. Uh, Obviously we don't want any human tragedies as a result of that, but um, I think it's incredible. What's more incredible is that I heard that I think 700 people have already bought tickets for this, this flight that doesn't exist yet, and paid $250,000 for it. So, man, we're in the wrong business. So that's a little crazy to me. And how many people have $250,000 laying around? I need to rethink this. Okay, big storms, obviously, throughout uh, the East Coast, really east of the Mississippi this weekend. We had a huge cold spell here in Nashville, no snow or anything. Uh, but the other big thing we watched last night was Nick Walenda successfully completed two record-breaking walks across skyscrapers in my hometown of Chicago. Just amazing to watch. At first, I started out thinking that he was crazy, but as I listened to him and watched him and how he interacted, he was just made for this. I mean, 200 years, his family has been doing this, seven generations, and it's like any of us that just feel like, you know what, this is what I was called to do, this is what I was made for. He's so confident, and not only that, he trained so hard, but the positivity with which he spoke, the camaraderie, the teamwork, it was so great to watch that with my kids. So that was really powerful. And our life, if you've been following me on Instagram at the Sammy Cohn, was crazy this weekend. The cold weather pushed us inside for trick-or-treating on Friday into the mall. We actually came up with new costumes for the kids an hour beforehand, so <laughs> forget the no-so ones I did on Talk of the Town last week. We had new no-so costumes, and they turned out great. Uh, Saturday, we did a garage sale Friday, Saturday, which was not so great. I think the cold weather kept people away. So we may try again this Saturday. Uh, we made a couple hundred dollars, which is not what we were expecting for us. Uh, just teaching the kids that, you know, something has to go out before something can come back in. That's how we did, got their bunk bed. They want to get a basketball hoop. So things like that, they've got to sell to bring money in. So nutcracker practice Kara's had on Saturday after that it looks like she's going to be performing mostly Sundays at 2 p.m. if you're here in Nashville I'll let you know that for sure had a great fall party with friends at a friend's farm um, just north of Nashville on Saturday night and then Sunday not only did we celebrate an upcoming wedding of friends Brendan and Nina but the biggest news of the weekend our kids chose to get baptized at Cross Point Bellevue at 930 on Sunday I don't know if there's any better feeling as a parent. They've been talking about it for a long time, but it wasn't until last week when they heard it at church that they started asking questions, asked the pastor to find out exactly what it means, what's involved. And obviously it's not something that we're going to push them into. It's just, I didn't come to know Christ until later in my life, and it's a personal decision everyone has to make, and you can't, have, you can't force your faith on anyone. So to see them willingly make that choice was uh, beautiful for us, and obviously it's not a cure-all for anything. It's a daily <laughs> choice that you still have to make, but uh, needless to say, we're proud parents. I'm going to be share- sharing lots of pictures and video in um, a weekend update on CMECone.com soon, but for now, whew, went over our time, but that's what I have. I hope you guys had a great weekend. Can't wait to hear what you were up to. I hope you make today great. Bye.